For any of you who've ever suffered with an asthma attack, bronchitis, or even just simple shortness of breath when you're walking up the stairs or up a hill, then you'll understand that this can very quickly induce a feeling of panic, of anxiety, and of fear. It can be really scary. And also what happens is that once this has occurred, then in the future, often people tend to mistrust the breath and just wonder about you know, when this is gonna happen again. So they have this inherent mistrust of their own breath. Now this is obviously a situation that nobody wants to have to tolerate or endure. So what I'm gonna show you in today's video is how you can use Qigong to help you with asthma and breathing difficulties. My name is Janice Tucker and I'm a practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture. I'm also a Qigong teacher and the founder of the Space to Relax online program of Qigong video lessons. And just before we get started, if you'd like to head over to YouTube or if you're watching this on YouTube, then hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future health enhancing Qigong tips from me. So what are the negative consequences of breathing difficulties? When we suffer with asthma, bronchitis, shortness of breath, or any other breathing difficulty, then in Chinese medicine terms, this involves the lung system and the kidney system. And when these systems are compromised, that's when the breathing difficulties result. And from your point of view, what you may experience on an emotional level is that feeling of anxiety, fear and panic, as well as that physical feeling of not being able to catch your breath. Obviously, this is something that is not tolerable, not easy to deal with on a day to day basis. When we feel anxiety, fear, and even panic, what tends to happen as well is that the breath becomes even more shallow and even more in this kind of upper part of the chest here, which then means that the breath is not as deep, you feel like you can't get breath, and so it, there's a vicious cycle that ensues when really what we're aiming to do is get the breath in a little bit deeper so that you can actually get more air into your lungs. So what Qigong methods do is they really help to what's called tonify or build up the function of the lung system and the kidney system so that the breathing becomes much easier. And what's also great with Qigong methods are that they focus mentally as well. We use the mind and the breath um, as well as movement in Qigong, but the mind focus is really important. And when we're trying to deal with any kind of breathing difficulty at all, what's important to do is focus on the free flow of the breath rather than the blockage or the obstruction or where you feel that kind of narrowing in the breathing. Because if you focus on the blockage, then that's the negative thing. And the more you focus on that, the more you'll be attracting it. The more things will become more blocked up, the more anxious and fearful you'll get. So it's important to focus on the free open flow of the breath all the way down uh, from the nostrils, all the way down into the lower abdomen. And that can really help you. So what I'm gonna show you next are my kind of four top tips for helping with any kind of breathing difficulties using Qigong. So tip number one is abdominal breathing. Abdominal breathing is breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. As you breathe in, your belly expands, so you're bringing the breath all the way down into the lower belly area by expanding and relaxing the diaphragm muscle. So it pushes down, increases the capacity of the lungs and the lung cavity, and that's the thing that pushes the belly out as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, the belly shrinks and the breath comes back up and out through the nostrils. And by mentally focusing your mind, as I said, on the positive, on this open free flow, rather than the negative obstruction, then this can really help you with your breathing and really help you to calm down any of that sense of panic or fear or anxiety around the breath. And the more you practice this, the more that mistrust that I mentioned at the beginning will be allayed. You won't even be thinking about that anymore. You'll become much more confident in the way that you breathe. 
and I made a previous video explaining more details on abdominal breathing so I'll put the link to that just in the text next to this video and you can follow along with it from there. My second tip is all about posture. So when we have length in the back of the neck and imagine that the head's been pulled up uh, by a string from the very top, creating that length in the back of the neck and at the same time tucking the chin back in towards the throat, then this creates a lot more ease in the whole of the throat area but also that length in the back of the neck if you do it it's really only literally a couple of millimeters of a movement really you'll actually feel everything expanding right down the back either side of the sp spine but in between the shoulder blades and that creates a lot more space for the lungs and that's what you're aiming to do so when you've got more space the lungs are able to kind of, kind of relax a little bit more and you feel much easier about the breath so the posture, especially of the head and the neck, is very important. And also remembering to stand up straight. So what you can do to find out more about how to do that is head over to a previous video of mine, which is all about the correct posture in Qigong. And I'll put the link to that in the text next to this video. The third thing you can do is use sound. And what you can do is use the sound which is associated with the lung system. Now this is taken from an exercise called the six healing sounds. So there are six sounds associated with each organ system in the body and the lung system has its own particular sound. Now I've covered this already in a previous video so I'll put the link to it in the text next to this one. But basically what you're looking to do is use this specific sound associated with the lung system in order to really relax that whole organ system and get rid of any what's called waste chi which may have built, built up in the lung system causing that feeling of obstruction or narrowing in the air passages. So I would encourage you to head over, watch and follow along with that previous video about using one of the six healing sounds to work with the lungs. And the fourth method you can use is to do with the kidney system. So remember I said the lungs and the kidneys are the two organ systems responsible for breathing. And so the kidney system is very closely related with the back because it's located in the back area. And what you want to be doing is looking to tonify or build up that kidney system and give it more energy so that it can perform its function of healthy breathing in conjunction with the lung. So again, head over to a previous video which I made and that was to do with Qigong for back pain actually. Um, but it's a very good method. It's a very simple two minute method to help with using uh, Qigong in order to really strengthen the back but also strengthen that whole lower back and kidney area and thereby the function of the kidney system itself. So once you've followed along with those four tips, the abdominal breathing, the posture, the six healing sound method associated with the lung and the building up of the kidney system method, then you might want to know how you can take things a little bit further. And the first thing you can do is to head over to my homepage, which is spacetorelax.com. And there you can sign up for a free three-part video series, and that will be delivered to your email over the course of around a week. And once you've done that, you'll see by email that I'll invite you to join my Space to Relax online program of Qigong video lessons. And if you really want to take things to the next level and develop a whole system of healthcare using Qigong to help yourself and really work on your breathing, because all Qigong exercises involve breathing, then I would encourage you to sign up for this program. So you'll get much more, much more detail about that in the emails that I'll be sending you once you've signed up for the free video series. The second thing you can do is, don't forget, head over to YouTube if you're not already watching this on YouTube and hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos of health enhancing tips from me. 
And the last thing you can do is go to Facebook and apply and ask to join my Space to Relax free Qigong group. And there you can ask any questions about Qigong and you'll see that I'm in that group most days and I post um, interesting articles and videos, anything to do with Qigong, mindfulness, meditation, breathing, and anything that I think you guys might be interested in. So ask to join that group and um, I'll let you into the group. There's already, I think, oh, over one and a half thousand members. So there's a lot of like-minded people in that lovely community as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and got some helpful, useful information from it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.